Hey, I'm Tony Kay. Welcome to Transformation School. I am a big fan of the articulated hands and feet that Perfect Effect has made for the Combiner Dwarfs figures. But they are not without their problems. This pin that connects the hand to the arm is pretty loose and when the hand is in the arm it'll droop. If you put a weapon in the hand it's definitely going to droop. Uh, without a weapon in the hand it you can see it, it stays in place alright. I've tried applying glue to this surface just to build the surface up and create more friction but the the glue just um, super glue even just peels right off so the idea of building up friction on this surface to make the wrist stronger is not working we might try pushing this pin out actually we might just try pushing the pin in further to make more friction there. Uh, we'll have to do that out in the workshop. The feet have their own issues as well. This ball joint can be a little loose. We could add uh, some little drops of uh, super glue or floor polish or whatever around that ball joint to create more friction in there. We have problems where the feet come apart too easily and um, they've since improved on that for the their first three releases the black the white and the purple hands and feet they use the uh, like the exact same mold and design and they all sort of have that issue where this uh, comes apart too easily their newer designs um, this one for uh, Bruticus and uh, they did another design for Optimus Prime. Um, the tabs are much more secure. So less of an issue of the feet coming apart on the Bruticus and uh, I can't say that the Optimus Prime that they've made that improvement, I don't have that set. But they probably have, as they um, designed it at the same time as the Bruticus set. This seems uh, much more secure as well on the Bruticus hand. So, let's start with the foot. And... Wherever we have a tab, we're going to add a little line of super glue. And then when that hardens, that edge is going to create more fi friction, keeping the foot together. not experiencing any issues with my ball joint but this is what I would do let that uh, cure for at least a few hours let's have a look at his other foot and let's look at it with Superion the first two hands and feet sets that um, 
perfect effect released one was solid black and one was solid purple the third set they released was white with um gray silverish gray gatling guns and a little bit of silverish steelish colored steel colored paint on the toe and i thought hey that looks quite fantastic uh -huh, this this one is uh clipping together quite a bit better here. Anywho, I thought um, it might be really nice to try to do that same thing for the Blackfoot. However, trying to get the uh, Gatling gun section off of the foot was quite a challenge. There is a screw, easy enough to unscrew, however, on this side here there is a pin. If we can get a good look at that pin. It's a ridged pin. It took so much effort to get this pin and this Gatlin piece out of the foot. I did not want to put that much stress on this plastic peg so it's still attached. And also um, trying to pry that out I put a lot of stress on on this plastic. And you can see where I've marred the plastic a little bit. But now that this is free, uh, I could hit it with a little silver spray paint. I'm gonna try Krylon Fusion for Plastics Metallic Shimmer. Uh, when painting plastic, um, I've read that you would need to sand it in order for like a standard paint, maybe spray paint, to um, adhere to the plastic. or uh, you can use paint specifically made for plastic, which is going to have the right chemical composition to stick to or bond with the plastic. If you use standard spray paint on plastic without like sanding the plastic first, then the spray paint will chip and flake off. We'll come back in uh, 15 or 30 minutes and flip it over and put another coat on. So I'm hoping that a solution for this loose peg would be to push this pin in even tighter. Um, I'm first going to try to fit this whole punch in here. If the punch is too long, then we'll try something else. Maybe a, a, maybe a screw would be... Screw? Nail? Maybe a smaller screw or nail would be strong enough to give us the force that we need. I'm thinking if I had a, can fit a block of wood in here, then the wood's going to be softer on the plastic than the metal would be. And also, um, it would give this spot of the pin a... a the ability to poke through a little bit if I needed it to. Let's see if we can wedge everything in here. Alright, I'm brainstorming some other options aside from the vise, like pliers. Okay, maybe the wood is too soft. Because I pushed into the wood. We're just going to try pushing this on with the metal of the vise. Mm. That doesn't seem much tighter. Okay, maybe it's a little tighter. We're going to regroup and figure out what we could brace this with using a pair of pliers. Here now, back with our paintwork. Turn this over. We'll give that another 15 or 30 minutes and we'll get back to work on our hands. Okay, we are uh, out of the garage and back in our film studio. 
where it is a little bit cooler. I'm thinking that this nail may or may not provide the... I don't know what to say. Provide what we need. And we're back. The camera overheated, but I kept working and I found an easy way to disconnect these. Oh, easy enough. I'm going to put this screw back in this half of the foot so that I don't lose it. And then we are going to paint all of the Gatlins on all of these feet so that they can all look nice. Take this screw out and then show you the seemingly easy way to disassemble this. Let's look at one that I've already taken apart. The hole that uh, the screw goes into is raised a little bit. So I'm going to apply some pressure to lift this over that raised part. And then I'm going to rotate it on this pin. And now that this is free and I've got some leverage here, I am going to wiggle and apply some pressure to separate this from the, the gun section from the foot section until the pin comes free. There we go. Ah. And I didn't break anything that I can see, which is always a plus. And we've got one more gun barrel. And we'll remove the screw. Raise it over that screw hole. Try to work that pin out. And we're free. Looks like the plastic in there may have cracked a bit. I feel like when I put this back together I should throw some super glue either onto the pin and or in that hole on each of these because that's just held in with uh, friction with those ribbed edges. And of course pulling those out would have uh, stripped the hole out a little bit. So, aside from that pin, uh, the pin and the hole, there's only this screw that's holding this together. So, a little super glue in there would probably be a good thing. Heck, I could even add super glue along these ridges if I were really concerned with how well this will hold together. So let's take these gun barrels outside and get some paint on them. 
Okay, let's do these up with some paint. And this one looks like we need to get four sides of these things. that dry for a bit. So our first one should be done by now. Give it a look over. It's pretty good. This is a little inconsistent here so I'm going to hit that side again. Rotate these. that dry for a while. Okay, so this one should be good to come back inside the film studio. Let's finish the last few sides of these. Several hours have passed and the paint is dry. I've lined up my uh, foot pieces. This one we had already applied super glue to, as well as uh, this piece here. So we'll put those back together. We'll see how the foot fits together when it's done. And if we like it, then we will add glue to these parts as well. And this one had, oops, the super glue on it. I'm going to put that back in now. That's a bit tighter, which is what we wanted. Next, we'll reattach all of these parts. I do want to add glue into the holes where our pin was at. I'm going to push in on that pin a little bit. Now this was the 
the very first one that I disassembled um, that I had done off camera and that I put a lot more work into than I had to, as you saw when we disassembled the rest of these. This plastic peg is slid down on the pin. I need to do some work to push that pin back through the peg. if any of these holes will work. Yes. So hopefully the wood block can brace the plastic while I push down on the pin. What on earth could I do that with? Hey, you know I'd love that vise. We, uh, that didn't really work well for us earlier. Would that work here? I don't know. That seems good enough. And a little dab of glue. Now is our test fit with the um, super glue added to the tabs. Well, this one's definitely tighter. Hmm. Well, tabbed together very well. <laughs> How easily or difficult will it come un come apart again? Not very easily. Try that one more time. I like it. So I'm going to do that to the other foot. Someone asked once why my hands shake so much. I have essential tremors. You should look that up on Wikipedia. Let that dry for a bit. That looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? 
see that next to one of the white sets. So we put a lot of work into this, but you might want to think twice because how often are you going to put this in gun mode and how often, you know, how much time is it going to spend as a foot on your figure? Hidden. Still. This looks great. I'm really glad how that uh, turned out. Alright, I'm going to turn the camera off for a bit and come back and we will test fit our other foot. Glue seems dry. Let's see how it fits together. Pretty good. I didn't add any glue to this ball joint because I don't think that made any improvement over on this one. The super glue is just peeling, peeling off of this, much like I described what the glue was doing when I added it to this piece. And as I understood it, the super glue is supposed to create a chemical bond of the plastic. In effect, almost melt the plastic. <clears throat> but instead, with this plastic, it just seems to be flaking right off as if it were just some sort of polish, like a nail polish. My best guess is that's simply because of the type of plastic that Perfect Effect used. And in general, that actually seems like a good idea using a plastic that is not going to be chemically altered by something like super glue or you know various acids. So we tried three mods. We had uh, two successful mods and one unsuccessful one. The trying to tighten the wrist pin for the combined mode on the hands did not work but um, adding glue to the tabs so that uh, the feet would peg together more securely, that did work, and painting these uh, gun turrets worked amazingly well. Um, this looks almost as good, maybe maybe better, maybe as, this looks just as good as uh, what Perfect Effect gave us on their uh, white hands and feet set. Considering toying with the idea of painting the gun barrels and of tightening the uh, foot connections on the purple hands and feet set for Minasaur. But there's several other mods that I want to get done um, that would be at the bottom of my list. That's it for today's lesson, everybody. Class dismissed.